What is up, everybody? This is Cody, a.k.a. DFS Prodigy, coming to you live to talk about the upcoming NFL slate that I wanted to go over. So let's start off in the progressive slates. I'm going to go ahead and start off and just basically go over my plays that I'm like. I did an earlier video on my early picks, but I wanted to go over it once again now that we have contracts basically settled more matchup like quarterbacks that I'm looking at, so on and so forth. I dug into it a lot more. So let's basically just get down to it. Russell Wilson versus Drew Brees. So Russell Wilson's on Seattle, of course, and this is going to be a high matchup shootout. Basically, it's going to be a high scoring game. But Drew Brees is facing an easy Tampa Bay Buccaneers defense. So that one's going to be cutting it close. But I slightly like Russell Wilson because Drew Brees once he gets in the red zone, Taysom Hill normally comes in, and it's just in Kamara. So it's just basically hard to get to Drew Brees, even though he has upside. Josh Allen versus Kyler Murray. I'm leaning towards Josh Allen, as surprising as that is. He's facing the Jets' defense, which is that speaks for itself, compared to Sam Fran with Kyler Murray, who has a decent defense. So give me Josh Allen. Carson Wentz versus Aaron Rodgers. So this one's going to be surprising, but I'm liking Carson Wentz a lot more than Aaron Rodgers because that Minnesota defense is pretty good compared to the Washington Washington defense who gives up a lot of points. Carson Wentz has huge upside with DJX as the boomer bust options. Alshon Jeffries looking good. Miles Sanders is going to be in the backfield. And, of course, Zach Ertz in the red zone. Give me Carson Wentz. Matthew Stafford versus Kirk Cousins. So this one's a little bit interesting too. Kenny Galladay is hurt. So Matthew Stafford's upside is a little bit depleted now with him out. But Kirk Cousins is facing Green Bay defense with Adam Thielen as their number one target. That one's tough, but give me Matthew Stafford. Baker versus Trubisky. So now this one's, again, going to be surprising. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Give me Mitch Trubisky. He carves up this Detroit's defense. And he's been looking pretty good in camp. So give me Mitchell Trubisky as a low-end option. People are going to flock to Baker Mayfield just because just because they see Mitchell Trubisky's name. I like Mitch a lot more. Michael Thomas versus Dalvin Cook. Give me Michael Thomas, who I think has a little slightly more upside than Dalvin Cook. Kamara versus Julio Jones. This is another tough one, but give me Kamara. I like that combo. With two New Orleans options, but again, I'm not getting to Drew Brees because I like Russell Wilson a lot more. Kittle versus Adams. I like Devontae Adams as the number one option. He's a slightly underrated guy, similar to Julio Jones. I like Devontae Adams a lot more than Kittle, who is facing a tough Arizona defense. Austin Eckler versus Aaron Jones. This is another tough one. Austin Eckler has a pass option. Pass option. So he'll be in the backfield a lot, but so is Aaron Jones because Aaron Jones is the number one option. I like Aaron Jones a little bit more. Godwin versus Mike Evans. So Mike Evans went from doubtful to questionable now. So he's he's interesting to me. So give me a Chris Goodwin just in case Mike Evans is active, but he doesn't get on the field. And that will be easy play. Nick Chubb versus Joe Mixon. I like Joe Mixon more because he's going to be with the rookie quarterback and Joe Burrow. Nick Chubb is basically the top option, but Kareem Hunt signed an extension on the team, so I want to see how their carries get split. Mark Andrews versus Kenny Galladay. Kenny Galladay is hurt, like I said earlier, but I like Mark Andrews a lot because now he's the number one option on the Ravens as a tight end with Hayden Hurst gone on the Falcons. I like Mark Andrews. Allen Robertson versus DJ Moore. So I like Allen Robertson pairing with that Mitch Trubisky play. Trubisky, like I said, is a low-owned option, and I think Allen Robinson is going to be also. I like Allen Robinson a lot more. Keenan Allen versus Odell Beckham Jr. This is a tough one, but I like Keenan Allen because of Tyrod Taylor's upside. I think he's a decent QB who is going to try to pummel Keenan Allen with targets. I like him. Adam Thielen versus Devontae Parker. I like Adam Thielen a lot more because of he's the number one option. Julian Edelman versus Calvin Ridley. Cam is going to look for Edelman in the end zone and in the slot. Give me Edelman. Zach Ertz versus DJ Chark. I like Zach Ertz. So, I like him a lot more than DJ Chark because I was thinking about it. 
I think Zach Ertz is going to be the number one target once again in the red zone for Carson Wentz. Give me him. Calvin Ridley versus T.Y. Hilton. I like T.Y. Hilton a little bit more with Phillip Rivers. I think Phillip Rivers is going to look for him. Keenan Drake versus Le'Veon Bell. Le'Veon Bell is going to be a 60-40 catch. Or not catch. Run options. So with Frank Gore in the backfield, give me Keenan Drake and D.K. Metcalf versus T.Y. Hilton. Give me T.Y. Hilton. So now let's go over basically the matchup shop options. So let's go to the NFL options. Lamar Jackson versus Russell Wilson. This is a tough one to me, so I'm not going to put a lot of money on this, but I like Lamar Jackson slightly more because of the run and pass option. Give me Lamar Jackson. Dak Prescott versus Matt Ryan. I like Matt Ryan 10 times more because of the shootout. I think the Rams defense is still pretty decent, and now they locked up Jalen Ramsey. Give me Matt Ryan. Josh Allen versus Ben Roethlisberger. Give me Josh Allen all day, every day. Matthew Stafford versus Cam. Give me Cam Newton because of the rush, the rushing and passing options. Matthew Stafford's going to be in the pocket a lot, looking for Marvin Jones if Kenny Galladay is out. I like Cam Newton a lot more, and people are going to be off of him because he's unproven because he hasn't played in a couple years. I'm all over Cam Newton. This is an easy option. Daniel Jones versus Phillip Rivers. Give me Phillip Rivers all day long. That's an easy option. Ryan Tannehill versus Gardner Minshew. I'm slightly leaning towards Minshew, but I'm fading that one. Joe Burrow versus Kirk Cousins. I want to see how Joe Burrow plays. That'll be interesting to me. Baker versus um, Jared Goff. That's another interesting one to me, but I slightly like Jared Goff. But the Cowboys defense is revamped, and, and Baker Mayfield is in a tough matchup too versus the Ravens. Christian McCaffrey versus Ezekiel Elliott. That one's too close to me for liking two. I'm off of that one. Dalvin Cook versus Devontae Adams. I slightly like Dalvin Cook, but again, I'm not on that one a lot. Let's go over a few that I really like. Tyler Higby versus Blake Jarwin. Blake Jarwin is now the number one option, but Tyler Higby is Jared Goff's favorite option. I'm all over Tyler Higby. C.D. Lamb versus Josh Reynolds. Give me C.D. Lamb, who is stepping up on that Cowboys offense. I'm all over him. A.J. Brown versus Sutton. Sutton's hurt, so I don't think he'll play. So I X out that one. Cam Akers versus Michael Gallup. I like Michael Gallup, who has stepped up again once in that Cowboys offense. I think they're going to have a good day. Um, Cooper Cup versus Robert Woods. That's going to be a battle I want to see first. Mike Evans might not play, but we'll have to see. So X, X off that one. Alvin Kamara versus Chris Godwin. Um, that's a tough one because I don't like running back versus wide right receiver matchup. So I'm going to X off that one. Similar to Michael Thomas versus Barkley. Kyler Murray versus Jimmy G. Give me Kyler Murray, who has the pass, who has the run option too. I think he's going to excel in this offense with D Hop, with Kenny and Drake, so on and so forth. Jimmy G is going to be interesting to me. Hunter Henry versus Ingram. I want to see how that one shapes out, too, because of how good both of these guys are. Drew Brees versus Tom Brady. That's going to be a tough one. When I want to see how Tom Brady does with Gronk and so on and so forth. A.J. Green versus Sterling Shepard. Give me A.J. Green all day long. That's an easy one for me. Give me, give me him. Kittle versus Eckler. I think Eckler does better than Kittle all day, every day. Drew Locke versus Tyler Taylor. Tyler Taylor has upside in the run game. He's been sneaky this season. Drew Locke, I want to see how he produces. Um, Mark Andrews versus Zach Ertz. I like Mark Andrews slightly more, but Zach Ertz is going to get the red zone option too. So that's a tough one to me. And Juju Smith-Suster versus Miles Sanders. I like Miles Sanders a little bit more. So that pretty much wraps it up, guys. I'll post some of my favorite ones on Twitter that I'm locking in because we picked a lot. As you can tell, we picked 11 ones that we really, really like. So you can parlay that how you want to, do your single bets how you want to, but I'm all over this. So that pretty much wraps it up for my NFL breakdown, and I hope everybody has a good day, everybody.